Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing about Bitcoins. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a digital payment system invented by an unknown programmer or a group of programmers under the name of Satoshi Nakamoto. It was released as open source software in 2009. The system is peer-to-peer -peer and transactions take place between users directly without an intermediary. These transactions are verified by network nodes and recorded in a public distributed ledger called a blockchain. Since the system works without a central repository or single administrator, Bitcoin is called the first decentralized digital currency. Now, Bitcoin is a form of digital currency created and held electronically. No one controls it and they are not printed like dollars or euros. They are produced by people and increasingly these days by businesses who are running computers all around the world using software that solves mathematical problems. A software developer called Satoshi Nakamoto or a group of developers proposed Bitcoin, which was an electronic payment system based on mathematical proof. The idea was to produce a currency independent of any central authority, transferable electronically more or less instantaneously with very low transaction fees. Now let's see who prints it. No one prints the Bitcoin currency. This currency isn't physically printed in the shadows by a central bank and it's unaccountable to the population and making its own rules. Those banks can simply produce more money to cover the national debt, thus devaluing the currency. Instead, Bitcoin is created digitally by a community of people that can, in which anyone can join. Now Bitcoins are mined using computing power in the distributed network. Now, why should anybody buy Bitcoins? First of all, Bitcoins can be used to buy merchandise anonymously. In addition, international payments are easy and cheap because Bitcoins are not tied to any country or subject to any regulation. Small businesses may like them because there is no credit card fees. Some people just buy Bitcoins as an investment hoping that they'll go up in value. Now, let's see what Bitcoin is based on. Now, conventional currency has been based on gold or silver. Theoretically, if you knew, you know that if you handed over a dollar at the bank, you could get some gold out of it or whatever is worth its value. But Bitcoin isn't based on gold. It's based on mathematics and it's a computer program. Around the world, people are using software programs that follow a mathematical formula to produce Bitcoins. The mathematical formula is freely available so anyone can check it. Now let's see how Bitcoin works. Now Bitcoins are generated by anyone with the Bitcoin mining application. A certain amount of work is required for each block to be mined. The total amount of Bitcoins is predictable and limited. They are stored in a digital wallet and are similar to online banking. Now these transactions are verified by these miners and they are permanently and anonymously stored on the network. Bitcoin software is open source, meaning that anybody can review the code. Now let's see how to trade in Bitcoin. To trade in Bitcoin, you can create a Bitcoin using the open source software. And this software outputs a private key and a public key. The private key must be kept secret. The private key is used for transferring the money from the account. If the private key is lost, then the funds cannot be recovered. The public key is used for transferring money into the account. Now, what are the advantages of Bitcoin? Though Bitcoin has become popular as a currency, it could be a foundation for future revolution in the payment system, which is faster, cheaper and secure. It could become easier to carry out international transactions. It can be used in emerging countries with a dysfunctional financial system. The technology used in blockchain could be used in other areas like transferring ownership of a property, debt, shares, and so on. It will eliminate all intermediaries involved in such transactions and making it easier. However, there are disadvantages to Bitcoin. As it is anonymous, it has become a medium of transaction in illegal trade and drugs dealing. It can be easily used in money laundering, and it's difficult to store Bitcoin safely as the wallet can be hacked. The transaction once done and recorded on blockchain cannot be rolled back. If you lose your private key, you lose all bitcoins. There is no way of getting the key and the coins back. And as a currency, it is very highly volatile. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account, click the link in the description and fill out your details. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel.